Good afternoon, Dr. Kevin. Good afternoon. Thank you for agreeing to speak with us today about uh, your high school experiences, as long ago as that might be. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, let's talk about mathematics. Uh, did you enjoy mathematics as a subject in high school? Oh wow, mathematics, that's a very good question. Mathematics, um, initially I did not enjoy mathematics at all because it was very difficult. It was much, um, I think much later in my high school career, maybe my final two years that I actually started to develop some appreciation of math, 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 of math you know, so um, mm. I'm basically a elite converter to, <laughs> to the subject. Exactly. Um, in my five years of, um, the five years that I spent in secondary school in Sierra Leone, probably the first three years, and three and a half years I did not, but my final year definitely I started to appreciate it a little bit more. Mm. So, so let's talk about those first three and a half years okay. when the subject was difficult to handle. Yeah. What exactly was going on? It just, it just sort of like, I wanted two things. First of all, it was, I think there's the, 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 the inherent fear that, you know, we, well, at least I grew up with um, in terms of hearing how difficult it is. Sometimes you don't even get to experience the difficulties before even having an opportunity to you not know, assess for yourself whether it's actually mm -hmm. difficult mm -hmm. or not. So it was part of that um, preconceived notion that mathematics was difficult mm -hmm. and part of, you know, again, was almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. Then after, you know, the concepts started, um, I was getting exposed to the mathematical concepts. Um, I don't think I tried enough. Mm. So could you recollect what became the impetus for the turning point? Oh wow, um, the, 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 main, the main impetus was um, preparation for O-levels mm. and um, preparation for O-levels and the, the decision my parents made to um, provide private tutor for me, mm. tutoring in mathematics. Okay, so, so you had what you might call a external yes. motivation. I did. I did. It was. It was. It wasn't because I wanted to. You know, I, I discovered. In, uh, I suddenly discovered the mm -hmm. importance of math. You know, right. my, my parents, but especially my mom. My mom was a biology biology teacher, mm -hmm. and so she was. She was very very adamant that mm -hmm. you know, um, I succeed in in the sciences and math. You know? Right. So, getting more specific, mm -hmm. do you remember any of the topics in mathematics that you would say was you know, eventually easy to grasp. So. Oh wow! Um, there was uh, um, good. So the, I know um, um, geometry was very. I was very, very. I was. I, I grasped that very, very, very hmm. rapidly. Um, um, trigonometry, um, bearings, and we had. I think there was a, a module that focused on. I think introdu introduction to statistics, mm -hmm. basic stuff, of means, mm -hmm. medians. You know. Mm standard deviations, right. those were really, really um, concepts that I, I really latched onto. Mm. On the other hand, which topics were, you know, consistently uh, difficult? <laughs> for some reason, I, I, it was hard for me to wrap my head around um, quadratic equations, you know, <laughs> quadratic equations definitely, and um, um, when you started to go into much more advanced calculus stuff in mm -hmm. terms of differentiation and integration, mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't understand that stuff. Th those concepts remain it, yeah, very high up there. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I think I probably could grasp my head around most equations, but I, mm -hmm. I think um, some of those concepts I haven't been able I understand them theoretically now, mm -hmm. right? Um, but if you give me a problem to solve in one of those areas, I probably will still struggle. You probably will still pass on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, so several years after high school, uh, you know, and I'm going to pick on something that I know is probably relevant to what you do now. Uh -huh. Several years after high school, what's the benefit of statistics to what you do? Oh wow! I think for me that's that's the biggest thing. Um, I'm, a, I'm a demographer, right? Uh -huh. And um, one of the, well, even before I did my PhD, my master's work, and my, my graduate work in, in, in demography, I was um, a geography, I was a honors geography student. And so we started mm. to give you some of the same statistics. Quanti well, it was, I took a course in um, quantitative methods in geography. It was basically mm. a lot of the statistics I had done in, 
in high school. school. But in my graduate work in demography, it became much more relevant. It became, I, I think, one of the reasons why I was able to succeed mm. as a graduate student was mm. because I had that foundation, mm. uh, that statistical foundation. Mm. So yes, we, we, um, we ended up doing stuff that's a little bit much more advanced um, in demography, but right. the foundation of, of what we, we, um, we were taught, especially in demographic methods, mm -hmm. was from statistics. Yeah. Wonderful. Has scholastic question shown up? I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it hasn't shown up. However, some calculus, some integration and differentiation has um, definitely showed up. Uh -huh. um, I, on this, so that was what helped me understand what those concepts actually mean. Be, uh, and one of the reasons why I was able to understand it better was mm -hmm. because it, w it was less abstract. Now I knew oh. how it applied in specific mm -hmm. situations, you know, mm -hmm. so, so I was able to understand it much, much better. So it, it moved from, you know, being something very, so to speak, esoteric yeah. to something practical. Right? Very, very practical. practical. Okay. Very, very practical. Uh, and, and, and that helped me. That basically increased my appreciation mm -hmm. of this concept. All right, so, so let's talk about your math teacher in okay. high school. Uh, what kind of experience did you have with your math teacher? Well, you know, I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember who my... Well, oh, I remember one of them. Um, okay. Um, it, was, it wasn't a great experience because... It was or it wasn't? It wasn't. It wasn't. Oh. In high school, it was, it was not mm -hmm. a great experience mm -hmm. because... Um, a lot of people in class did not necessarily, well, a lot of my friends, the friends that I hung out with, mm -hmm. were not necessarily the smartest kids. Mm -hmm. The smart kids did well, right. you know. Um, but one of the things that um, one of the things that got me discouraged, especially with my math teacher, the math teacher thinking about specifically, was that you know at that time things are, things had started to go bad in terms of the economy. The teachers mm -hmm. were, not, were not necessarily being paid. Mm. And some of my friends, who were not necessarily the smartest friends, um, but they came from very wealthy families, mm -hmm. you know, ended up finding a back door to actually pass. Right? You know, the, mm -hmm. the teacher was, um, let's say, he was very, very open to being persuaded by <laughs> other people. <things. laughs> to be incentivized. Uh, incentivized, right? Yeah. And okay. you, yes. And some of those kids <laughs> ended up passing. Right? Right. A few of them. Hmm. I didn't have the incent I didn't have the resources to incentivize him, mm -hmm. so you know that also was something that turned me, well at least turned, gave me, uh, gave me well gave me a very negative view of of the teacher of the teacher in mathematics. Yeah. Now I mean you, you had private lessons. I did. I did. What about your private lesson? Oh, teacher? that um, my private lesson teacher. Well, she, her name was Mrs. Gus Smith. If you go to Freetown. Everybody know well. Everybody who it turns out that almost all the kids who have the best result in math mm. um, in all levels, almost all of them, at some point were tutored by Mrs. Gosmith. She, oh, yeah. she was, she was. Well, one thing I've discovered over the years, not starting from that experience and even in grad school, mm. subjects such as math and statistics are not necessarily things that everybody can teach, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Gosmith was one of those people who can teach math. She was gifted. Oh, she was gifted. She, she knew the stuff, but she knew how to transmit that information. Mm. In fact, um, at the end, of, well, I ended up passing math in um, all levels. Mm. Um, however, I'm, I still strongly believe that if I had an ex, if I had started off um, with my tutoring that I received from her a year earlier and I had at least two mm. years, two full years of exposure to I definitely would have got probably a distinction in math. Mm. She, she just knows how to teach. Wow. She knows how to teach. Is she still acting? Um, she probably might be going towards retirement now, but there's a significant generation of people that she definitely, that she tutored. Um, so some of them are engineers now, a lot of them are some engineers. Um, doctors, um, many people who were in the STEM fields. I probably was the except, well, one of the few exceptions of people who were not necessarily straight STEM who um, went to her went classes. To her. But she was very good, very good. Now, she wasn't then engaged in the public school system, was she? Good, um, no, she wasn't. I think she probably had, she, well, I think she probably started off there in the public school system. Mm. Um, what happened was that she was, um, a, I think, a chief examiner for mathematics for the WIAC. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. My mom was a chief examiner for biology, biology right. so she knew some of these people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it was through that connection that I was able to um, get uh, to get, get exposure. To exactly. To yeah. Fantastic. So uh, let's talk about other resources, textbooks. Uh, what's your recollection of the quality of textbooks available to you as a high school student? For math? For math. Oh, oh um, wow. Um, I think I could vaguely remember a very bulk, I don't quite remember the name, a very bulk text, textbook that was very, very, it just looked very difficult to make. Right? General mathematics? Exactly, mathematics, yeah. yeah. And I don't quite remember the name, it was hard to understand. Yeah. The difference with my private tutor, she, she never, I don't quite remember her having um, a specific textbook. I do remember that she was the very first math teacher I had ever had mm. who had detailed notes that she gave, right? Detailed notes um, with a lot of examples, right? And mm. by the time you read, it was reading, you could, reading mathematics, right? Ex explanations were in the notes. You could read the concepts and go through all those examples. And by the time you're done, you, you probably might need just a little bit of help in terms of understanding some of the advanced concepts. But it was, they, were, they made things so simple mm. that it was easier for me to understand her stuff than the stuff that was in textbooks. Now you're talking about her own self-created notes. Yes, her own yeah, self-created notes. Yeah, she was good. Interesting. Now, so across the board of all of the resources that we've talked about, mm -hmm. uh, the school system itself, textbooks, teachers, and all that, if I were to ask you to identify the single most important factor that contributed to your ability to pass or excel in mathematics in high school, which one would you Oh, without question, it's my aunt, you know, Mrs. Gosmith. Um, she probably, she, if it, she probably was responsible, probably, well, about 95 plus, no, percent of my, my final grade, yes. Wow. Um, um, yes, she was good. She was very good. Hmm. Fantastic. Uh, what would you suggest to young people, you know, who currently mm -hmm. are going through high school mathematics? You know, what, 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 uh, what should they bear in mind? You know, how should they circumvent the difficulties of, of the subject? Good. Well, at least from my own experience in high school and subsequently after that, mm -hmm. one of, there are two things I would emphasize. One is, you know, forget about all those stereotypes or avoid developing preconceived notions about mm -hmm. You are built in the subject about whether you're able or whether math. I, I definitely don't buy into the notion that math is for certain people and mm -hmm. certain people people's certain abilities that you don't have. Mm -hmm. I think when we're able to um, step beyond those preconceived notions, we are much better prepared to to experience math in a new way. And I think mm -hmm. um, that's something I would encourage um, students to do. Secondly, I think. Perhaps even more important, again, based on my experience, is the importance of practicing. Mm. Math is one of those subjects where you just can't you know, leave to the night before and just study and memorize everything <laughs> and then hope to pass the exam the next day. Mm. You have to consistently solve problems, right? mm. have practice problems, even if they're the same problems you have done before in the past. You know, the, the, um, as you continue to solve those problems over and over again, you begin to th understand the concepts better. Mm. You probably might be able to understand how to develop shortcuts to actually get to the same kinds of answers. Mm. And um, there's nothing that substitutes for practice. And I think wow. um, that's, that, that helped me a lot, especially um, in preparing for all levels, but more specifically in grad school. You know, mm. um, I found out that practice is the foundation mm. um, for um, to to the exactly, now. exactly. Right. Fantastic. Very, very good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate it.